Hello everybody and welcome back to the Madden 2004 Jets franchise here. We are here in Season 3 and we are back at another Super Bowl. This time we are taking on the Atlanta Falcons and Michael Vick. In the last episode, they beat the St. Louis Rams, the 16-1 St. Louis Rams, to get into the Super Bowl. And last week, of course, we beat the Kansas City Chiefs to get into the Super Bowl. So let's get right into the rosters and how they got here. So path to the Super Bowl from the Falcons. They started out 3-0 with wins against the Panthers, Giants, and Bills. Then they came back from the bye week, lost to the Saints here. Then they had a six-game win streak, I believe. They beat the Lions, Packers, Bucks, Dolphins, Saints in the second round, and the Panthers again, and then finally got humbled by the Vikings 20 to nothing. Then they ended up winning against the Bears 30 to 3, but then they ended up in a losing streak here. They lost to the Jets, the Bucks, and the Patriots, but then they ended up winning their final game. 41 to 9 against the Cardinals. And then they took on the Buccaneers in the wildcard round. They beat the Buccaneers, then they beat the Packers, and then of course they beat the St. Louis Rams to get to the Super Bowl. So let's take a look at their rosters. So as you can see, cover boy Mike Vick, num uh, 96 overall, only 25 years old. I didn't even know he was that young, even in year three. Keith Brooking going to the Pro Bowl here. Num uh, 95 overall he had a uh, crucial uh, force fumble in that game against st louis if you guys didn't watch it i please encourage you guys to watch that one that was a good game patrick kearney algie crumpler bob whitfield he is probable but he is a great uh, left tackle for them uh peerless price has been a great uh wide receiver for them but you got to take a look at james newson he had two touchdowns in the nfc championship game and he was uh, on the running for rookie of the year and as you can see man 99 speed at only 23 years old he is a demon but it looks like between price and newsome that is that's the only thing uh that's differentiating these wide receivers because everybody else is kind of mid you got josh davis he's a rookie brian gilmore 70 overall and then latarence dunbar who is 63 overall here for this wide receiving court and then i want to take a look at the corners here these are really decent corners here all in the in the later stages and then you got some young ones here uh at the tail end you have tyrone williams age 32 88 speed though ray buchanan 82 overall 33 uh speed but you got the rookie of the year the defensive rookie of the year matt Ware. he had an interception in the nfc championship game he had eight interceptions this season as you can see eight interceptions eight pass deflections even two forced fumbles i don't i think he took two of them for six from the last episode uh when we uh announced all the awards but he is definitely a threat here 92 speed 91 acceleration 71 catching that is pretty good for a corner so we have to watch out for these guys right here um so let's get right into it super bowl 40 the jets versus the falcons here in detroit let's get into it Alrighty guys, Super Bowl 40, the New York Jets take on the Atlanta Falcons, and man oh man am I excited for this one. This might be the last episode of the series guys. I mean we got a lot of things going on uh, in, the, in the tube for the channel, so I don't know, but let's just enjoy this one. We got the cover boy, Mike Vick, the man of Madden 2004, the most broken player in sports history here, but we have to take him on tonight, and as you can see, our defense is riled up for this Super Bowl here, Super Bowl 40. Uh, for anybody in the comment section, do you guys remember Super Bowl 40? Because I remember Super Bowl 40. I was about, uh, what, eight years old. Uh, me and my grandmother watched it, and of course, I wanted the Seahawks to win because, you know, the Seahawks never won a Super Bowl before, but I digress. We have a couple bad plays here, but third down here for Pennington. Pennington rolls off to the right, but takes a hit here on this vicious Atlanta defense here. So they're going to get the ball here. But TJ Duckett gets stopped behind the line by guess who? John Abraham. So they're going to have a second down here. Vic going to throw it down the middle, but it gets tipped away there. Intended for Algie Crumpler, but John McGraw says no. Third down here, and TJ Duckett going to go backwards with the football there. Gets a catch for a negative two yards. So they're going to punt this ball right back to us after our three and out and after their three and out. So here comes Curtis Martin getting the first first down of the game there with a big catch there from him. And this might be his potentially last game here, so he's going to make the most of it. Pennington looking around, but can't find anyone. And he sees the pressure, so he obviously is going to throw this one away. There comes third and 12 here for Pennington. He finds Wayne Corbett wide open, but he can't hold the football. He left his hands back in New York there. And a crucial drop there. 
one of the biggest games of his career. So here comes TJ Duckett this time, getting a good run, but he leaves the football at the 32-yard line. I'm sorry, at the 28-yard line, but it gets recovered. We have a good job by Peerless Price having a good eye on the ball. TJ Duckett with another run, but Donnie Abraham is there for the tackle, and it's going to be another three and out here. And it's defensive first quarter. Who would have thought between these two teams who have one of the most potent offenses in the league, it is a deck lock at zero here, nearing the end of the third here, and it's going to keep it that way here as Hall just uh, beats us there. And uh, nobody brought their hands today, I guess. But that's okay. Third down and six here. Here comes Mike Vick. Going to throw this one to Newsom, and finally a big play here. He's going to get a crash, and he's going to almost pass midfield there, putting it at the Super Bowl logo. Here comes Vick here. Going to throw this one right to Duckett here on a first down. Second down and five. Here comes Duckett once again, this time on the ground. He breaks a tackle there from, uh, I believe that was Aaron Beasley there, and it is going to be a fresh set of downs. Here comes TJ Duckett again, but he's going to fumble the ball once again, but his guard again gets the recovery. So we are 0 for 2 on fumble recoveries here. Here comes Michael Vick. Going to try to get a nice little run there, but Ed Hartwell is going to get the stop. Here comes Ducky here, and barely he gets the first down on that one. Now passing the 30, trying to get into the red zone. Here comes TJ Duckett once again, another run. This is a very run-heavy style here. But here comes Vic with the throw, gives it to Newsom, but he meets up with Marvin Jones, man. Did you know that Marvin Jones was that man? Because he just told you today. But regardless, they get the first down knee on the next play from TJ Duckett. So here comes first and 10, and Ed Hartwell gets pushed right into the sack. So a big mistake there from the uh, the left tackle there. He's gonna push Ed Harwell right into the first sack of the day. First sack of the day there. He's gonna be second down to 16, and they say that is a catch there. I don't believe that was Peerless Price, but number 82 gets the catch there. Here comes TJ Duck on a third down and gets the catch on the wheel route, but here comes Donnie Abraham with the stop, and Marvin Jones almost gets the block there on the uh, extra point like field goal. But the kick is good, and now it is a 3-0 game here in the middle of the second quarter here. So it was a very, very defensive game here. But here comes Curtis Martin breaking free here, getting a long run there, about 15 to about 18 yards on that run, but he gets a fresh set of downs. And here comes Martin again, feeding the well, feeding the guy who might potentially retire after this one. The MVP gets the first down. And we're going to give it to the MVP once again. A nice seven-yard gain on that one, and it's going to be second down and three. So it comes Pennington, and we're just going to keep giving it to Curtis Martin because he is getting open. He is getting open every single time. Nice spin move there, and he gets another first down. So he has to get a rush there. Almost throws a pick there. I believe that was Newsom there, but here comes Pennington. He's going to throw this one. Tries to give it to Braylon Edwards, but it's going to be no good, and we're going to have to kick a field goal here from Nick Brown, and the kick is up, and the kick is good, and we tie this one at three apiece here. And deep in the second quarter here, deep in the first half, here comes T.J. Ducker with a nice run. Now is a two-minute warning. It's going to be second down and 11 here for Mike Vick, and he's going to show his legs, getting a run and the first down, Neil, almost getting the spin move off by John McGraw, but he does break the tackle. But Ed Hartwell puts it to a stop there after a big 15-yard gain. And Vick tries to do it again, but he gets immediately sacked by John Abraham. So it's going to be third down and 11 here for the Falcons. Vic feeling a little bit of pressure here, but Newsom gets the catch there and a big first down. So it's going to be second down and 10 past midfield here. Trying to get down in is almost picked off there by Donnie Abraham. Good tip away there from Corey Webster. And then Corey Webster almost going to get a pick there, a Super Bowl pick. I believe he did it last season against the Buccaneers. But this time he just swatched the ball away. And they will punt the ball right back to us. So now we're trying to get a little two-minute drill going on here. Second down and one. Pennington feels the pressure, and he gets absolutely sacked there. I believe that was Caldwell with the sack. So it comes third down and seven here. And once again, another sack. And this time it's from Kearney. And Kearney was unimpeded there as he got the sack. And now we had to punt the ball right back to Mike Vick and this Falcons team. And like I warned you guys before, Newsom almost takes it into the end zone, but John McGraw saving us from the touchdown near. And they're gonna fast, we're gonna fast forward this one as they go with the no huddle here and they get it off just in time. Five seconds left, four seconds left. And it, 
ends up with the spike at three seconds so they will go for the safe field goal attempt so we do avoid six points there and that will be the end of the first half a quick one at that six to three who would have thought here and here comes mike vick once again trying to get a run but that is going to be childress our rookie defensive lineman getting the big sack there in the biggest stage of his career uh, probably his life the super bowl here and then on a third down trying to give it the peerless price but donnie abraham is there to tip that ball away and another three and out here by this jets defense great job here as we're in our own third down situations third and seven and kearney runs unimpeded once again and he's gonna force us to throw the ball right away and it's gonna be a punt so here comes a third down here for vic and he's gonna find newson there for a big first down Second down and five this time. Gonna find TJ Dockett on the run again, but this time Donnie Abraham gets the tackle right before he can cross that yellow line. Third down and 10 here. They're gonna give it to Dockett again. I'm sorry, Duckett again, but Ed Reed is there for a clutch tackle. They are right on the line of scrimmage, so they're gonna punt this ball right away to us. But looks, look at Donnie Abraham. He pushes 29 in front of us there, and they will call uh kick catch interference on that one so we do avoid that fumble or that muff but we get 15 extra yards on that one so i guess we could thank donnie abraham on that one as curtis martin gets a big first down there on a nice little 10 yard run we're gonna keep feeding him the ball here he is our meal ticket tonight here getting a nice little juke move right into keith brookin and gets a tackle there's gonna be second down and two here penitent off his back foot throws it to wayne Kerbet, and he gets a big catch and a nice little move there as Hall will get a five-yard face mask, and we will tack on five on that nice little play. So first and goal here, we try to give it to BJ Askew, get your fullbacks involved, folks, but he only gets about a couple yards. Second down, we give it to Martin there on a delayed handoff, but looks like there's a no-go. So we're going to give it to Terry Jackson. He gets folded into the end zone there, but he gets in regardless, and that is the game's first touchdown almost what almost 30 minutes into the game there you know we do 10 minute quarter so it's almost 30 minutes there a nice tackle there by beasley and now it's going to be third down and 13 vic with the pressure and they're going to call a pass interference on this one but davis does get the catch there and it is a first down so they will decline it here comes Duckett again but there it is beasley again another beasley chant tackle for loss so it's gonna be third down and 10 after a couple yards on the second down but beasley is there to tip the ball away very much getting involved in all those plays especially in that drive so here comes chad pennison again giving it to santana moss here and getting a big first down and we are in the fourth quarter folks we are in crunch time here we are up by what 11 here and look at curtis martin getting some moves getting a catch and getting a first down here so here comes Pennington once again throwing this one, but it gets tipped away by the defensive rookie of the year. So we're not up by 11 yet. We are up by four, but look at this third down catch by Wayne Corbett. Mr. No Gloves getting a big first down. So another run here from Curtis Martin. And does he get the first down? I guess we'll figure out. No, he does not. Third and inches, so we give it to Scary Terry. And look at him rumbling, bumbling stumbling to get that first down there and he gets a goal to go situation so you know we got to reward him with yet another touchdown and like my friend chris said when i was live streaming this to him this was a man who got booed in his draft selection this season and here he is in the super bowl the heisman trophy winner with two russian touchdowns at the goal line you can't make this up people and here comes a third down here and a great tip away there by Corey webster but they have to go for it here comes vic on a fourth down and there is Corey webster with the big tackle for loss why would he run the ball there on a crucial third down a crucial fourth down in the super bowl who knows but we got the ball here under two minutes left penitent almost getting sacked there throws it on basically a heave to braylon edwards but he gets a big catch and a big first down so we're gonna reward santana moss with a big touchdown there and now the game's getting out of hand here 24 to 6 we have a commanding lead here an 18 point lead here and here comes first and 10 but as soon as he was trying to throw the ball there, Briston Buckner breaks it up, and it will be counted as a fumble. So Mike Vick gets a fumble there. Well, of course, we got to give Curtis Martin all the love, and that almost solidifies him for 
um, MVP of the Super Bowl there. I thought they were going to give it to Terry Jackson, but they did end up giving it to Curtis Martin. So here we are, back at it again, back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions. And I don't know why Nick Brown is holding the trophy, but he is. Our kicker holding the trophy there, but we will take it. And we are once again Super Bowl champions back to back here in a 31 to 6 convincing victory there. But it wasn't really convincing in that first half as both teams just couldn't really get it going there. But we just kept trucking it with Curtis Martin there. Four receptions, 59 yards. He had a bunch of carries, 80 yards, and a touchdown. So he does win Super Bowl MVP alongside running back of the year and NFL MVP. I mean, this is just picture perfect for him to go out. I don't want him to go out like that. But if he does, I mean, just that's just picture perfect. MVP, Super Bowl MVP, and a ring on your finger at the age of 32. I mean, it's nothing better. Uh, Mike Vick, he had a pretty decent game, 10 of 20, but it was a very rushing heavy game in that very first half. Um, even in the second half, nobody really seemed to get their mojo going when it came to the passing game, but a win is a win regardless. And I want to thank everybody who watched all those rough episodes at the beginning all the way to now where it's still a little rough here um, when I make these YouTube videos, but I make the best out of it. Um, I try to have fun with it, but this was such a great series here. And do you guys want to see me continue the series here? I will put it in the community post if you guys don't even make it to the end of this video. But um, yeah, I want to see what you guys think. Should we keep going with the Jets? Should we move on to a different team in Madden 2004, but still in the same franchise? That would be a little neat. I was thinking about the Bears or the Cardinals as a team that we could move on to. Um, but uh, it's all up to you guys. Just say it in the comments. Throw it in the comments if you do have any ideas. But we do have something in the tube for Man No. 8 um, for another league. So I'm hoping to get you guys involved in that. But this was such a fun experience going back into Madden 2004, a game that I really did not play in my youth because, A, I was about five years old. So I didn't really understand uh, football that to, to, that, to that degree. Um, but... This was such a great experience coming into Madden, coming into Madden 2004, seeing all these great features that the new Madden's don't even have anymore and getting to play these games. So um, uh, please put in the comments what you want to see next. Do you want to see a season four? Do you want to see a three P? Uh, I'm, I'm very much. Uh, I would love to do that. Um, I would love to see a new team come into the fold here, um, but it's all up to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we are Super Bowl champions back to back, baby. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.